Hi, so this is uh, something that I don't do on this channel ever, really, and that's kind of a product review. I got this Thread Beast box. I saw an ad for it on Instagram, um, and I figured kind of something similar to the Frank and Oak boxes. This is going to be a subscription service where they send you curated clothes uh, picked out by a designer. Uh, it's for people who don't know kind of how to dress themselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through this box and we're going to look at what uh, they've decided would work for me based off of a questionnaire that I've filled out, which I'll include what the questionnaire looks like uh, here on screen. And then we'll just kind of talk about what 80 bucks USD gets you, I guess. This video isn't sponsored by Threadbeast at all. They didn't reach out to me and ask me to make this video. Obviously, no one's fucking reaching out to me to make anything. Um, but let's just open this little bitch up here and see what we've got. I don't care for a lot of the things that are in this box. So, first item, pink plus dolphin shorts. You've got some pretty big shorts here. Um, I know I'm kind of a bigger dude, but I feel like this is kind of ridiculous. These are bigger than I think I will uh, wear. I am gonna include, um, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna try these on. I've never done a clothing review, so I don't know what, what to highlight specifically. I'll try these on, that'll be, this is the shorts. To be fair to these guys, this is a brand that I've never heard of. So I've never heard of Pink Dolphin. Um, I never would go out of my way to buy uh, Pink Dolphin because I, I don't know they exist. And if I saw them on a rack somewhere, I don't know if I would ever actually be interested in picking them up. So first off the jump, oh my God. First item out of the bag, cool pair of athletic shorts or sweat shorts. It's like a thin sweat short that I wouldn't normally buy um, mm, that's a 10. Uh, second item, it's another pair of pants. These are a pair of jeans from Ben Sherman. Um, they are kind of more slim fit, it looks like. Not, uh, yeah, it's a stretch slim Damn, pair of jeans. All the jeans that I buy are usually dark wash or black. Uh, that's just kind of what I prefer. I feel that light wash jeans are kind of, it's so 90s, it hurts. And not in like a good kind of retro -y way, just I feel like that's one of those trends that came up in the 90s and should have stayed in the 90s it's for 50 year old men who wear jean jackets unironically and 45 year old posers who, who think it's still 1994 i don't know i just never got into light wash jeans my girlfriend has said that she prefers these colors on men so maybe these are just become the jeans i wear when i'm around her we then have a pair of slides they're from pink dolphin as well so there is a bit of a trend it's kind of weird that i'm getting slides it's it's mid-september where i live which means that slide weather is kind of ending these could be a good kind of walking around the house outfit or um item but i i've got uggs for that like i don't need another pair of anything for these they're just black slides um again i'll show you on screen what they look like uh, i apologize for showing what my feet look like but this is what the, the slides are and then we come to the t-shirts looks like i got two shirts from Crooks and Castles, I got a black tee. Typical kind of black tee with a logo on it. Generic, I mean, again, it's a brand that I've not heard of, so would not go out of my way to purchase. Simple black tee with a red graphic on the front of it. Nothing too offensive. Um, and then the second shirt is a gray. It's actually kind of cool, Meridian Skateboards. I think it's a little skateboard shirt. It's a gray shirt with the logo on the front and on the back. Got the logo on that as well. Um, I don't know. Kind of dark. The color profile that I selected when I did this was for vibrant colors. And everything that I got was, uh, was very dark. So I'm not, I'm not too happy with it, although I'm not too upset. Uh, it's this weird state of, these are clothes that I could see having in my closet, but that was kind of the point of doing something like this, was to see if you could find items that you wouldn't otherwise purchase. Uh, for $80 USD a month, I mean, you do get a pair of jeans, a pair of shorts, two shirts, and a footwear item, and I think some other boxes include like backpacks and stuff, and arguably you could say it's worth it. The question becomes, had I gone to a Marshalls or one of those kind of discount retail uh, outlets, would I have been able to buy all of this stuff for $80? We'll say the flip-flops, not even counting the flip-flops, because again, I have zero interest, I'll never wear these. 
Um, so without taking this into consideration, two t-shirts, a pair of jeans, and a pair of sweat shorts. Could I have gotten those for $80 or cheaper USD? In Canadian, this came to like, I think, $112. Um, with, with like shipping and everything taking into consideration. So for 112 Canadian, I know for a fact I could have gotten this for the same price had I gone to Winners. Now, are you getting the same brands? I mean, the Ben Sherman, I do know. This Dolphin thing I never would have picked up. And for all I know, these are going to be really, really comfortable. I'm not going to know until I actually try them on. Um, but for 80 bucks, I don't see it really being all that worth it. I'm going to do two boxes of these just to try out a second one. Um, again, it is, I do need to kind of improve my closet a little bit, but none of these got me excited. None of these really got me going. Um, and I think it would be better if you just kind of learned how to fucking buy clothes for yourself. I don't understand. So many companies are doing these subscription boxes for, for pretty simple service. I did the Frank and Oak one. That one kind of makes sense because it's from Frank and Oak and you you almost kind of pick the things that you want for or if you don't want you can return to them for a refund i did that once i only liked one thing out of the box that i got uh mostly because i didn't fit in a, a lot of the things but these subscription boxes here's some shit that was very obviously on sale it was very obviously out of season or very obviously discontinued that they're getting for a markdown rate they're the price that you're paying the premium that you're paying is for a stylist who, who does not really talk to you all that much um and you kind of just end up getting stuff that you would have got for yourself. The whole tagline on the box, it says one less trip to the mall. It contains one less trip to the mall. Well, I would rather have taken that trip to the mall. Personally. I would rather have taken the trip to the mall. Um, I'm going to give it one more box. I'm going to give it one more box. I'm going to give it one more month. We're going to see if they can do anything better. I'm going to message them a little bit and say, hey, this is what I did and didn't like about this. I'm sure I'm going to get some survey. Uh, but other than that, this was a waste of money, in my opinion. Don't buy these boxes. Don't buy subscription boxes. They're shit. Uh, just go out to a store and spend your fucking money like a normal person. Thank you. I'm editing episode two. It'll be out soon. Goodbye.